right? Um, well, I recently got these in the mail. These are my first e-liquid purchases, I guess. Um, MyVaporStore.com Menthol and MB, which I'm pretty sure is Marlboro, you know. Um, uh, what I got in here is the Marlboro and, um, to be honest, it's not a bad flavor. There's really virtually no flavor. I mean, there's a little bit of sweetness, but not really much else, to be honest. I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying uh, there's a whole, mo there's a whole array of flavors on there that I do want to try. I w hopefully, hopefully, not, hopefully they'll have the, um, the grape and the butterscotch in stock, because those are the ones I want to get next. But, um, yeah, the, the menthol is, is, it's a mint flavor, <laughs> you know, it's been a while since I've had the menthol, I've been smoking the Marlboro, <laughs> but, um, and go figure, I'm a menthol smoker. Isn't that weird? I prefer menthol. Like, it, it's minty. It's... <laughs> Honestly, it's like smoking watered-down mouthwash. That's what it reminds me of. And I'm not insulting the flavor. I'm not saying it's a bad flavor. It's just, it could be a lot more minty. Because it's not even a strong mint flavor. Like, like Listerine, but, eh, that's fine. Like, a weak Listerine, but that's okay. Like, I don't have a problem with it, but it, it's just odd. It's just, it's, it's unique, you know. little ones because I was thinking if I don't like them my friend has purchased the same kit as me and has his if I don't like one of them if I was you know I might like if I were I'm not now <laughs> but I was thinking if the Marlboro sucked basically you know I'm just gonna give it to him but I mean it's all right you know I guess it's a little bit of sweetness that's nice but um I don't know You know, um, I mean, it's, I wish I could find the blueberry all, oh, because what this thing came with, and that was so nice. The blueberry was awesome to me. It tasted so good. So good. Okay, anyway. Um, sorry, I had text. But yeah, like, um, you know, it, it could be a better flavor. That's all I'm saying. The menthol could be stronger in the mint. You know, I've, I tried the do-it-yourself thing, to be honest, with juices, which actually killed my first atomizer. My friend, luckily for me, had a spare, so, you know, he gave me that, and I, I mean, I'm paying back with one, or maybe I was giving the money for it, I don't know, but... You know, it's just, I don't know, the menthols, it's alright, I mean, really, to put it, to be quite honest about it, it's okay. I'm actually surprised these have lasted as long as they have so far. Maybe, maybe I will be good for a while with them. I mean, these are just little bottles, too, you figure. You know, I really don't vape it often, I don't sit here and constantly, you know, I don't just you know, uh, all the time, and just every now and then. Mm. Also, I want to mention that the menthol was a high, which was 18 milligrams, and the Marlboro was 24. So this one has actually been holding me over. I'm still amazed that I have not had the desire to really smoke much. I, mean, I did just have an actual cigarette, but yeah, I mean, I really don't smoke that often anymore. I really am hoping eventually this thing will replace my smoking entirely. 
hoping. You know, I'm glad I got the extra high. Uh, this is what they call it on their website. It's extra high, which is the 24 milligrams of nicotine. And then the high is 18, you know, which is a, that's a pack of cigarettes, roughly. You know, it's between like 13 and 18 per pack. From what I've seen, from what I've seen from most companies, <clears throat> but yeah, they're they're both okay. They're decent flavors. They're all right. You know, if you want like a light mint, menthol is good. If you don't want a flavor, or maybe you could add your own, Marlboro is good to do that with. I'd say. I could. Hey, I could try the vanilla with it. Ooh. Maybe I'll do that. That's, that's menthol. Oops. Huh. There's the Marlboro cartridge. It does have a, th there is a distinct smell tone too, just to say, just to point that out. Let me try the vanilla. Ah, come on. Oh, my dripper bottle's like messed up. I need to get real ones. Anyway, yeah. Alright. One drop of vanilla extract. Wilton, the Wilton brand, two bucks. I also, I don't know if I posted this on another video. Maybe I did. I have the glycerin now stuff that they talk about. You know, this is it. This is the edible one, um, Wilton. You can see glycerin spelled with an E for some reason. Whatever, it's the same stuff. That I mean, the glycerin and the propylene glycol are actually in a lot of products. I noticed. Like I was just looking through the ingredients on a lot of things. Just because I was wondering, I've heard it's used a lot, so I was just seeing for myself. Uh, my shaving cream, my shampoo, my aftershave. No. Well, not my after. My dad's aftershave. Anyway, <laughs> just a lot of things really do have it in there. So that's, I found that interesting. Just you know, the propylene glycol and glycerin. One, the other, or both are just so common. Really, I just found that interesting personally. Yeah, I'm an odd sort, I'd say, with stuff like that, but, um, yeah. Trying this vanilla real quick. Mmm. Alright, now that worked out rather well. Maybe I'll be mixing some vanilla with it, not like in the bottle. I mean, we keep, they're over here. <laughs> That's why I was pointing, but, you know, maybe not in the actual bottle itself, but... When I drip into the cartridge, maybe I'll do it that way. Um, I realize my reviews on things aren't the best. I realize there's no point to them. They just kind of run on. And I'm sorry about that. That's just how I am. You know, I don't have a script. I don't have a set of um, events and things I'm going to talk about. I don't do that. I probably should, but I don't. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. You know, um... Probably be after this will be a game review, actually, because I've been playing um, Combat Arms lately. And if you like first-person shooters, if you like Call of Duty 4, I recommend it highly. It's one, it's free to play, free to download. You know, you can buy stuff. It's made by the people who make Mabel Story, so immediately you should. You know, Nexon is the is the company, I guess. Company. Yeah, I guess they're a company, but. Um, <laughs> You know, the developer is Nexon, which they make. They, I mean, there's a lot of games they make, but Maple Story is their most popular, so I figured I'd mention that first after this will be the review, so peace.